The SUTD were uniquely organized around broad areas, what we call pillars, and not around traditional schools and departments. Uh, we're breaking down the barriers among the disciplines and encouraging our students to think, work, innovate beyond the boundaries of these disciplines. There are four pillars, architecture and sustainable design, engineering product development, engineering systems and design, and information systems technology and design. Uh, these pillars also correspond to the degrees the students will earn. Our teacher-to-student ratio at 11 to 1 is among the lowest anywhere in the world. Uh, our pedagogy is innovative and will set the tone, we believe, for engineering education in the 21st century. Our students will learn in small groups of 50 students or less, what we call cohorts. Uh, the classroom uh, are rich in cutting-edge technology to facilitate learning, discussion, experimentation. Traditional lecturing will be limited to about 30% of the classroom time, uh, with a balance devoted to experiential and active learning. Uh, problem solving, working on design projects, case studies, uh, lab experiments and discussion. Design will permeate our entire curriculum. Uh, there will be a design experience in every course. There will be a design experience that cuts across courses in every term. There will be a design experience in the final year that cuts across all the terms and all the pillars. Uh, the ESD curriculum is concerned with the design, planning and operation of large-scale complex systems. Uh, examples include supply chains, manufacturing, uh, logistics, transportation, healthcare, financial services, uh, security and defense systems, and many more. Therefore, to be effective in designing and managing these systems, our students, in addition to having a strong foundation in the fundamentals, math, physics, engineering, must be exposed in a serious way, we believe, to uh, management, economics, behavior, public policy. I like to think of ESD as taking engineering to a higher level, literally. Instead of the traditional focus on products and devices, the focus of ESD is on these large-scale systems, the integration of these systems, and then their deployment in their environment. So it's moving engineering up the value chain. Uh, it's a blend of the technical and the managerial, uh, with this additional focus on public policy and societal concerns. So students who earn a degree in ESD will be spoiled for choice in a place like Singapore. Almost any company, any organizations uh, will have opportunities for students with an ESD profile. So Apple always comes to mind uh, as a good example of a company that has been innovative in its product, uh, but also very efficient in its supply chain. So I'm thinking of companies like uh, Walmart that manages a global supply chain with tens of thousands of suppliers, thousands of distribution warehouses, and thousands of stores worldwide. Uh, managing to shorten the supply chain from manufacturer or farmer to store to few days, and in some cases to only a few hours, while guaranteeing the lowest cost. Another good example uh, that has revolutionized the retail sector in the U.S. is Amazon. So both Walmart and Amazon collect and process a huge amount of data on consumers, suppliers, distributors, and use that data in sophisticated computer algorithms to make decisions about product pricing, assortment, and inventory management. I have been at the University of Minnesota for nearly 20 years and spent the last 10 years there building the industrial and systems engineer program. Uh, I plan to draw on our experience in building a top-notch program in the U.S. in the systems area, in developing the ESD pillar and establishing ESD at SUTD as a leading program, if not the leading program in the world. Uh, my own research in the areas of supply chains, logistics, and my focus on sustainability are very much aligned with the mission and focus of ESD. Students at SUTD will be engaged from day one in projects uh, and uh, design experiences. Students will also benefit from industry internships uh, with over 75 companies already committed to providing internship opportunities to our students. Our students will also benefit from being engaged in research experiences with our world-class faculty and with faculty at both MIT and Zhejiang. We expect many of our students to take advantage of overseas experiences and to engage in volunteer and service projects. Our students will be engaged, empowered, passionate. Uh, they will work collaboratively and in teams on solving tough engineering challenges. Our expectations from our students are high, uh, but we're confident that they will meet and exceed those expectations. We will nurture in them a spirit of creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship. We also nurture in them a desire to deploy technology to address big societal challenges and a passion to do good in the world. I expect the ESD pillar to be particularly attractive to women. Our broader view of engineering and our emphasis on large-scale systems that impact people's quality of life in a direct way 
will be particularly appealing. The ESD pillar opens more doors in more industries, will be attractive, as well as the fact that a degree in ESD will be a fast track to management positions and positions of leadership.